Hey everybody, welcome back to some gameplay. Well, not welcome back. This is the first I don't know, showcase I'm using for Grixis Pirates. I don't know, I messed up that intro a little bit. And we are looking at our hand here. Uh, we're going to keep. We're missing that black mana. But it shouldn't be too hard for us to get. So, yeah. Alright. He plays a planes and passes. We get Spire Bluff, so we'll play Spire Bluff. And pass. We need a black. Uh, mostly for Ruin Raider, but. Okay. Uh, blue, white. Huh. I must have top decked that. Otherwise, he would have obviously played it last turn. Unclaimed Territory. Uh, pirate. Um, okay, so we can do either Warkite Marauder, which doesn't actually matter, or Fathom Fleet Captain. I think we do Fathom Fleet Captain, just because uh, it's got Menace. And, uh, yeah. We'll see. So, if we play, because if we play this, we can turn this into an 01, but honestly, it's just Gideon. Yikes. Uh, okay. What did he do with it? Nothing yet. He's going to get in for one. Yep. He's probably going to make sure this guy doesn't do any damage. Yep. Makes sense. Passes the turn. Well, it's going to be Stormfleet Sprinter now. Blue at red. Stormfleet. Sprinter. Go to combat. I'm sorry if, like, I'm being slow. We're going to attack Gideon here. This card's really awesome, man. I love it. A 3-mana 2-2 two, two, haste unblockable is just so beautiful. But I'm not actually sure. He's playing Bant. Is it Bant tokens? Or is it just Bant midrange? Treasure map. I, I'm not familiar with this list. I'm sure some of you guys out there are. Uh, I should really be pay, being pay, like be paying attention to like meta changes after, especially a banning. But no attacks. Gonna make him not do any damage. All right. Okay. We draw another Ruin Raider. Well, we're gonna go island into siren storm tamer go to combat is this on end step at the beginning at the beginning of your end step yeah all right let's get attacking gideon it's buying him a whole bunch of life but there's just nothing else we can do Okay. So the reason for playing Siren Storm Tamer there is just in case he has some one mana, you know, obviously in this instance there's nothing at one mana in white and blue in standard that could do anything, but I could Siren Storm Tamer and then like do another Fathom Fleet Captain if I wanted to. But right now I think it's got to be Ruin Raider. All right. A Fumigate's pretty bad for us. Actually, it's really bad for us. But we, we just have to play into that kind of stuff. Like, are we... We just... That's what we have to do. Okay, he's leaving up for treasure map, obviously. We still have a whole bunch of stuff in hand. We're going to be able to draw a whole bunch of cards. Rune Raider. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, if he's got Fumigate, then we can just rebuild our board pretty much immediately. The problem is we only have one black mana, and we can only spend it on... Oh, no. Yeah, it's Fumigate. Cast out. Probably on Ruin Raider. Yep. Okay, that's fine. His Gideon's gonna die, though, which is always useful. He's gonna be able to get in. He's probably gonna... Interesting. He keeps... Okay. Okay. So that's a pay two ability. 
Draw land? No. We can Ruin Raider plus Daring Buccaneer. Or we can Fathom Fleet. Attack with everything. This goes at Gideon. This goes at his life. This just attacks and you can't block it. Then we go Daring Buccaneer. Pay the two here and leave up one for Siren Storm Tamer. I like that plan. Let's go to combat. Uh, attack. Attack Gideon. Attack him. Okay. Okay. Pay two. We probably go like this. Wait. We're going to go. Wait. Let's make sure we tap right. We want this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Man, I gotta get faster at MTGO. I've been playing for two months now, and I just I'm still really, really slow. Um, okay, then we're gonna play Daring Buccaneer. We're gonna reveal Fathom Fleet. Hit okay. Alright, we got a board. An Admiral Beckett Brass would be pretty amazing here. He's on three cards. Not sure what his game plan is. Okay, this is definitely... I know what's happening right now. This is definitely a Fumigate. So, how do we recover here? We, we can't even play... I want to know what this guy's endgame plan is. Is it just approach? Is this just blue-white approach? Because if it is, I'm, I'm going to be kind of bummed. We get Metallic Mimic plus Fathom Fleet Captain. Or, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, pirate. Why do I have to click that? I don't understand. I don't understand, guys. I mean, it's not a terrible hand. We need to draw a black mana source pretty much next turn so we could get March of the Drowned. That's a very, very strong card. At least he's got another Fumigate. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Dovin Bond. Bant Planeswalkers? What is this? I'm so confused at what this deck is. Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Pretty good response. Course. That's actually annoying. Black mana. Another unclaimed territory. Um But he, he can attack, right? Uh yeah, we're gonna pay. I mean, it's an O2 that he can't block. Okay. Add black, Ruin Raider. All right, that's a pretty good board. We draw another Metallic Mimic. Ruin Raider is definitely a huge part of winning this game. Okay, he's trying to draw an answer. I'm not sure what his deck is, but it looks like it's a control-based deck. So it's gonna be interesting to see what type of he's able. To, he's buying himself a lot of time, like just by planes with planeswalkers and stuff. But eventually, eventually, we'll be able to start doing some serious damage until he has another fumigate. Okay, it's maybe this is a life a bant life gain deck. I'm, okay, I'm down. I'm, I like the premise of this deck. I like decks that play Planeswalkers, man. Like, they're not fun to play against, but, like, I like playing Planeswalkers. If he's got Dovin Bond, I'm always down for that. I love Dovin Bond. Very nice budget Planeswalker. Okay, he keeps targeting that, but that's not even the biggest of his worries. 
Come on. Give me that black mana. Oh my god, it gave it to us. We can grab... So we have one, two, three, four, five after. We can grab these two if we wanted to. Or we... Yeah. Let's do March of the Drowned. Turn tar two target pirate cards. Let's definitely get this guy back and definitely get Fathom Fleet Captain. Then we can go one, two. Metallic Mimic, Pirate. Comes in with a counter. Blue, red, blue. Fathom's Fleet Sprinter. Go to combat. Uh, attack Dovin Bon. Attack Dovin Bon. Um, that's a three. Hmm. He could kill. He could kill my Ruin Raider. But I'm actually only going to attack with these two. I don't want to lose Ruin Raider. If he wants to keep Dovin Bon around, he's going to have to lose two things. And yeah. I'm fine with that. I'm going to get rid of. Uh, interesting. Hmm. How do we block here? We can. Because if we kill this, he doesn't bombs it. Like, there's just no point. We gotta get rid of the Anointer Priests. No. We're gonna get rid of the tokens. Okay. We draw another Ruin Rider. We've taken seven damage from Ruin Rider. He's living off top decks right now, and I'm okay with that. He can keep stopping damage, but eventually we're going to get through. And we have answers for Planeswalkers and stuff in our sideboard. And, I don't know, Fumigates. Like, we have Lookout's Dispersal, we have... Oh, there's just a lot of stuff. Oh my god, he does. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're definitely bringing in counter spells. Like, this is just frustrating. We have we have a whole bunch of hand disruption on our sideboard. I shouldn't even worry about this. He don't tell me. Okay, cast out. I'd probably take Fathom, yeah. Fathom lets me get wide really quickly, but next turn I'm drawing two extra cards. Okay, I don't know why f treasure maps now. It doesn't make sense. Oh, I guess the flip makes sense. I lied. Metallic Mimic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should we just double Ruin Raider and just say screw Metallic Mimic? No, that's not that's not right. Metallic Mimic, Pirate. Go to combat.
island. Hmm. Yeah. This is interesting. That was a really brutal top deck fumigate. Anointed procession. He's going to get two one ones right now. This is not looking good. I might as well concede. I, I mean, he's got card draw. He's got anointed procession now. I'm not even sure. Is this just Bant life gain? Did he draw a card? Draws a card ability, yeah. Plays another treasure map. Yeah, I don't think we win this. Well, he doesn't have any blockers. Let's go to combat. Okay, I'm gonna just play Spire Bluff. Go tap, tap, tap. Drone Catacomb. March. Actually, that's not a March of the Drowned, is exactly why I'm taught or I'm the main boarding to this for. Uh, I mean, he's drawing two cards a turn. Well, until next turn. And then he's going to flip that, and then he's... Yeah, I don't know. You get another Fumigate. Cast out. What is he going to take, though? Probably one of the Ruin Raiders. Yeah. Okay. Play this. Play March of the Drowned. Get back this. Get back. Ruin Raider. Uh, blue. Red. Go to combat. Okay, now we're getting beats in. I'm feeling good now. <laughs> this is what the deck is supposed to do. Kind of just be brutal. Play another Ruin Raider. Fumigate top deck would be terrible for us. Oh my god, two Daring Buccaneers. That's kind of funny. Okay. What Should have scried. Yeah. Order's important. It really is. Did he get another Fumigate? Looks like he did. Oh my god, dude. Okay, no, that's game. Okay. Let's... Alright. I... Why even... Why even quit the game? Alright, this is how we would have sideboarded. Lookout's Dispersal. Vraska's Contempt. Kite Sail Freebooter. Gotta get rid of 10 cards. Get rid of Daring Buccaneer. Maybe. No, we get rid of uh, Marauder. Because that doesn't help. Sword po Point Diplomacy doesn't help. That's a more aggressive card. Um, probably get rid of Hostage Takers. Get rid of... Man, maybe he only have two Vraska's Contempt and go down a Rune. No, Rune Raider helps. Uh, probably go down a Daring Buccaneer. But yeah, that's how we would have sideboarded in that game. I, I'm. That's probably a really lame first match, and I'm I'm gonna call it because it was about a eh, 20 minute video ish. So uh, anyway, kind of. I I, I honestly want to know what his deck was. 
to be honest. He probably quit because I conceded after complaining about top deck Fumigate, which honestly, I'm. That's just if that's who I am. If you're gonna top deck a wrath that gains you life, then I'm gonna complain about it. I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't complain about it. I should be more positive about things. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna take that as I don't know. That's probably a draw. You can take it as it is. I felt like. I felt like a lot of the stuff that the deck does is in there. We got some card draw. We were able to keep, we actually got more card draw than he did and more card advantage. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.